Mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them for several reasons. As mountaineers ascend to higher altitudes, the amount of oxygen available in the air decreases significantly. At extreme altitudes, such as those found in the death zone above 8,000 meters 26,000 feet, the oxygen levels are dangerously low. Carrying supplemental oxygen helps compensate for this decrease and provides the mountaineers with the necessary oxygen to breathe. Climbing mountains involves a process of acclimatization, where the body gradually adjusts to the lower oxygen levels at higher altitudes. However, even with acclimatization, the oxygen levels can still be too low to sustain prolonged physical exertion. Oxygen supplementation can assist in maintaining the climber's physical performance and reduce the risk of altitude-related illnesses. Mountaineering is a challenging and high-risk activity. Unpredictable weather conditions, avalanches, and accidents can occur, leading to emergency situations. In such cases, having access to supplemental oxygen can be crucial in stabilizing a climber's condition while waiting for rescue or descending to lower altitudes. During summit pushes, climbers often face extremely harsh conditions and intense physical exertion. Supplemental oxygen can help reduce the strain on the body, increase energy levels, and improve cognitive function, enabling climbers to perform better and increase their chances of reaching the summit safely. It's important to note that the use of supplemental oxygen in mountaineering is a subject of debate among climbers. Some prefer to climb without oxygen, as it adds an additional challenge and a purer form of the sport. However, for high-altitude expeditions and climbers with less experience or medical conditions, carrying oxygen cylinders is a common safety measure to mitigate the risks associated with low oxygen levels.